Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial. In this video we are going to customize our WordPress so we can protect our website from hackers and and musculous attempts. So we will use the plugin and we will also use core editing. So let's just go to cPanel as I have already logged into cPanel. Now navigate to file manager and open a tip. Okay, the first thing that you need to delete is um, is that readme.html. It will it will install in your WordPress directory at the time you install WordPress. So if you visit this uh, file path, reviewsanddeals.com a backslash and readme.html. So select the file and delete. Okay. Now the next thing is to uh, go to your wp-config.php. This is the file. We need to secure this file because it contains all the credentials of our website like database name, database password and every other thing. So we need to secure this thing. So just click on it and click this file, right click and click this edit option. Choose the edit option. Okay, now click this edit button here. Okay, now we need to assign a salted has for all the all these keys like the authentication key, the secure authentication key, logged in key, uh, and some other keys. So you can put a random string here, and if you don't know what to put, you can visit to this link, this one. Just copy this link till the salt and open it up in a browser okay so WordPress API, WordPress API will automatically generate a unique uh, random hash key for you so all you need to do is just copy this whole code here copy and paste it here paste okay now the next thing is to um, at the bottom of this at the bottom of these hash keys you can see that there is a WordPress table prefix. So if in case if if in your case you see uh, nothing here, like you see a blank uh, space after the underscore, you can put any random uh, alphanumeric character here. No special character and after that click click save changes. Okay. Okay, so the next thing is to install a plugin. No, no, no. Now we need to um, stop the directory browsing. Like uh, our directory WP includes is anyone can see this directory. Let me show you how. If you visit review and deals backslash WP contents and press enter, you can see all the files of our website. What? No, not in contents, in include. See, there are all the files of our website, so we need to stop anyone to see our website file. So all you need to do is close this thing, uh, create a new text document, open it up, and save as and save this file as make sure that save as type you choose on the save as type all files and put here index.html and save it so a blank index file will be created now we need to upload this file in our um, includes upload browse open Okay, completed. Let's go again and go to the same location. Now we are getting a blank page because this URL here is redirected to the redirected to the blank index.php. So now no one can browse our directories of our website. Okay. The next thing is to uh, go back and now we need to secure our uh, 
Okay, season expired. Okay, now the next thing is to uh, install a plugin to check what are the things that we need to mm, we need to configure. But before we install a plugin, I would like you to paste su paste some code to secure the hut access file and hut job loopy config. So go to the SEO section and click this edit files. And this is our hat access file. All you need to do is just copy this code here, paste, and then copy this code here. This code will um, this code will this code will disallow to access WP configuration without uh, without authentication as well as for the HUT access file. So we are securing our WP configuration and the HUT access file itself. Click save changes. Okay. Now we need we are going to install a plugin uh, WP Better Security. The name of the plugin is WP Better Security. No, it's Better WP Security. Okay. Copy the name, go to your plugins, add new. Okay, so the plugin is installed. Let's activate this plugin. Alright, let me close this thing and log out from our cPanel. Okay, now you can see that there is a new tab of security. Click on it and in the last video we already created the database backup so there is no need to create a, create a new database. So click no thanks, I already have a backup. Now click this red button here secure my site from basic attack and it will tell you what things you need to improve okay now there are uh, four colors the color in green are good job now there are 21 things that we need to fix but um, the lines which are in green color are good the items are which are in orange are uh, it's all up to you if you want them to uh, configure configure them and if you don't they are good enough but the items that are in red that we are need to secure immediately okay so we have one thing that is your installation is not actively looking for a changed file so all you need to do is just click this uh, click click this fix here and it will do the rest of the thing Okay, click this box and save the settings. Okay, now this line is in green. Your installation is actively looking for changed URLs. Um, the rest of the settings are good enough, so by this way you can protect your website. So this is all for this video and thanks for watching it. Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial. In this video we are going to create a regular backup for our database files, plugins and themes. So we will do it uh, through a plugin and the name of the plugin is backwpup. Okay, so this is the plugin which will automatically create a regular backup of your website and upload to uh, uh, Dropbox. Okay, so we are going to install this plugin. This is the free one and 
there may be a pro version yeah you will get some more feature with pro version so we are going with free version as it will do the work for us so let's go to plugin click add new okay so the plug is installed let's just activate the plugin and configure the setting okay now there is a new tab for backup and there are the features of the version free and pro you can compare them and if you want to get a pro version you can use this button here so let's go to dashboard and check out the settings Okay, there is nothing on dashboard right now but we have to create a job and the job is to create the backup and schedule it okay let's go to jobs and see if there is any demo job or not right now there is no job so click add new and the name of the job is like hmm, backup now the task like database backup file backup wordpress xml export install the plugin list and check database tables so you can tick the boxes that you want to run in this um, in this job and the name of the database like if you hover your cursor in this box you will see that uh, the percent s will sorry okay the percent these are the short code to uh, to categorize your backup in year month day hour minute and seconds okay so you can if you want to change the name you can change it but the default is good enough now choose the format okay the tr zip z zip it will compress your um, file and so we are going to use this one the job destination uh, dropbox and the log files if you want an email for errors you can tick this box or untick let's go to schedule do it with WordPress Chrome click this the basic and select if you want your backup to hourly daily weekly and monthly so I want my backup daily select the time one zero and let me click the save changes now go to general and see if the settings are changed no 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 so let me save the changes here too now let's go to db backup tab and here are the tables that you want to take backup for uh, make sure that you select all the tables and backup file name backup file compression gzip save it now go to file and now here select the file that you don't want to include in your backup like I don't want to include the CGI bin and WT, W3TC config and the plugins that you don't want to take backup for. Uh, I don't want to take backup for smash it and ping optimizer. Okay. For the theme, uh, I don't want to take backup for the 2013 for the folders select the all and save the changes let's go to plugin and select the gzip it will create a text file so you can uh, you can check what are the plugins that are installed on your website in case if you uh, lose your backup so click save changes 
and go to Dropbox. Now we need to create a Dropbox account. If you already have one, you can use it, uh, but I'm going to create an account. Now choose the plan which you want to um, like if you choose the pro one you will get more space uh, 100 GB for the basic we are getting 2 GB and for business uh, this is the same thing but for 5 plus users so I'm going to use the basic one click continue and I don't want to install this install this software so let's go to uh, our account No, there is no confirmation email. Um, now the next thing is to re-authenticate the sandboxes. So click it, click this re-authenticate, and it will navigate to the Dropbox. Click allow, and now authenticated. You will get a green authenticated um, text here. Okay, if I go to my files. Okay, let's go to files. So right now there is um, no backup and if I click this folder apps, this is the backup. Uh, it is created by this uh, plugin here and if you go to in this folder, you can see that there is no mm, backup. So let's go to the root folder and go to the jobs and run this job to ensure that it is working okay so this is the job which will create the database which will create the backup so let's click this run now select the backup and click run now So as you can see that it is taking backup and it may take some time to to compress all the files and collect all the logs and files and saving it to Dropbox. So I'm just pausing this video and I will show you whenever it will complete. Okay. Okay, so it is about to complete. It's completed 95% and it is running from 260 seconds. Okay, so our, do, so our job is completed and there, there is no warning and no error. As you can see, the error is zero and warning is zero. And the job is complete in 306 seconds. Let's go to Dropbox and click Apps, the backup folder, Review and Deals, the title of our website. It is not before. This folder it was not before here. Let's click on it and you can see that there is a backup and it's modified 30 seconds ago. Okay. Uh, you can download this backup or restore anytime. So by this way we can schedule our backup and it will automatically run at the time 1, uh, 1 p.m. or 1 a.m. I don't know. But by this way you can set up a job, uh, a backup for your website and it will rec take regularly daily backups. Okay, so this is all for this video and thanks for watching it.